how to knit the bead stitch, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Out of the Box, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their organic merino line in the color Kiwi. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, slip stitch, pass slip stitch over, yarn over, yarn round needle, knit two together, purl two together through the back loop, purl two together, purl three together. To begin this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of seven. Row one, beginning on the right side of our work, we're going to knit one. Then we're going to knit two together. Next, we'll yarn over and we will knit one. Then we're going to yarn over again and we will slip the next stitch purl wise, then knit one and pass the slip stitch over. Now we're going to start our repeat by knitting two and we will again knit two together. Then we're going to yarn over and knit one. Then we'll yarn over, slip the next stitch purlwise, knit the next stitch, and then pass the slip stitch over. Oh, nope, that was the yarn over. So I make sure we got the slip stitch. That's this one right here. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last stitch in our row. All right, and when we get to the last stitch in our row, we are going to knit one. Row two, we're going to begin our repeat by purling two through the back loop. So we're going to insert our working needle into the second stitch from the beginning of our main needle going through the back loop purlwise. So basically, if our needle was facing us this direction, we want to come in through both of these stitches this way and then we turn our stitches around like this. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Then we'll purl those two stitches together. Like so. Now we're going to yarn round needles. So we want the yarn to come over the top and back around to the front. So that's a yarn round needle. And then we will purl three. So we've got one, two, and three. Then we are going to yarn round needle again. So yarn over and back around to the front. And then we will purl two together. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way to the end of the row. Row three, we're going to begin by knitting one. Then we're going to yarn over and slip the next stitch purlwise. Then we'll knit one and pass the slip stitch over. Then we're going to knit one and knit two together. Then we'll yarn over and we're going to start our repeat by knitting two. Then we'll yarn over, slip the next stitch purlwise, knit one, 
and pass the slip stitch over okay then we are going to knit one knit two together and then yarn over and that will finish our repeat so we'll repeat this sequence all the way until we reach the last stitch in our row. Alright, when we reach the last stitch in our row, we'll have done our yarn over and then we will knit one. Row four, we're going to begin by purling two. Then we're going to yarn round needle, so go over the top and back around to the front. Then we're going to purl three together, so go right through these three stitches purlwise. We'll purl those all together and drop them all off the stitch at once. Okay, then we'll yarn round needle once more, and we'll start our repeat by purling four. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Okay, then we're going to yarn round needle again, and we will purl three together. Then we will yarn round needle to finish our repeat. So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last two stitches in our row. So we'll finish up our last repeat with the yarn round needle and then we will purl the last two stitches in our row. So we're going to repeat rows one through four until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you knit the bead stitch. Want more new stitch today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.